What's going on filmmakers? I'm Alexander Don and today we're going to take a look at Moses' latest gimbal, the Aircross S. Now this gimbal is small, it's probably the size of an iPhone which is kind of crazy if you look at its specs. It has a maximum payload of 1.8 kilograms and for this size is very impressive. What's more impressive is the fact that I can balance my FX3 with a cage and a 24 or a 35 millimeter lens on it. Not only I can balance my camera on it, but this gimbal works so much better than I expected. In fact, it works better than most bigger and stronger gimbals I've tested in the past. It has a battery life of 12 hours, which is more than enough, and it charges in just one hour, which is another cool thing. It comes with a carry case and it has all the latest connectivity features that we see on bigger brands. And it also has a dedicated app and many more. This little guy is packed with tons of features. You can also use it with an iPhone or a GoPro, or you can even use them all together at once which is kind of crazy. I never tried it, but I saw that in Moses' post. But for me, this isn't so important. What's more important for me, it's how it works and how good I can work with it. And here is where things get interesting. The menu layout is very easy to work with. It's also very easy to modify the gimbal tuning according to your needs without the need of a phone app. What I really like about it is that I can tune the gimbal to my exact style of shooting, which to be honest, I had trouble in the past with different brands of gimbals I've tested. Also, because this gimbal is so light, you can work with it all day without coming back home with a back pain. You also have the possibility to switch from horizontal to vertical in a matter of seconds, which I think it's super useful considering the fact that I film mostly vertical nowadays. But probably what's the most important about this gimbal is how smooth it actually is. We went outside to test it out and to be honest, we were shocked. Let me show you the footage. We're turning the corner, turning the page And every single second with you feels like a party to me We kissed yesterday goodbye and get higher, 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 higher. So what do you think about the footage coming out of this gimbal? Super smooth, right? To be honest, I never thought I would see a gimbal this size to hold my FX3 and also work this good. I'm honestly very impressed. All right, so the final verdict about this gimbal is that I totally recommend it. It's better than I expected and I will definitely use it on some of my projects. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Peace.